here at Fox Day Zurich with Danilo, who's giving you a talk, Machine Learning for Developers. So you're from Amazon, and part of your talk is about Amazon Web Services offerings, but it's also about the terminology of machine learning. Exactly. So what can people, is this machine learning from the beginning? So do you, what do you explain? Well, I think machine learning is really a, an exciting topic that is going to change the way we live, we work in the next year. So I want, I think developers must understand terminology. So I went through an, uh, an overview of how machine learning evolved over the year that from a more statistical approach to neural networks and deep learning uh, so that developers can understand which tools they can use. Uh, I also talk about uh, an open source tool that we support as Amazon, it's uh, Apache MXNet. It's a platform where you can do deep learning at scale. And then I move on into uh, our offering. We now launched an Amazon Artificial Intelligence Initiative where we have services that can help developers use APIs to do image recognition or to do text-to-speech so that you can uh, render a text into voice. This is especially interesting for IoT because if you have a device with a limited uh, possibility to have a display, a display, you can have voice that can tell you what is happening. And then we also have a service that is Amazon Lex. Uh, Lex is the uh, what's inside Alexa. You oh. may know the Amazon Echo device. Basically, now you have a service that you can use and integrate with uh, any device you want, a mobile app, uh, even a web app. And you can build a chatbot, and you can interact via text or via voice. And that's a big thing right now, chatbots. Yeah, it's seen a lot of interest in our customers because chatbots can really help interacting with your customer in a more interactive way, uh, not being just a website offering information. Uh, and still, it's very efficient to build. Uh, and we see, especially the new generation, they like interacting with both. So if you need to, I don't know, book something like a book a hotel, book a car, a much easier, this interactive way that going in a handless website and finding the right options. So it's about making things more intelligent, using intelligence. Exactly. We think that uh, these tools uh, help developers build smarter app. I also think that some things like user interface must be adapted to customer. So I hate when the option that I choose in a, uh, always in an application is the most hidden one. If the, it's the 10th time that I use an application, the application can learn and optimize the user interface for my, for my basic usage. Oh, OK. So you think that, um, that maybe we could go towards a future where an app rearranges itself to suit your use? Exactly. So maybe the content on a page, based on what it thinks you would be the most interested in, or if you're always pressing cancel, maybe it will learn to put the cancel button at the top. <laughs> exactly. It will make it a little bit big, bigger, but not hidden among a lot of options. So it's something that is doable. There is the tools to do that with, without being a machine learning expert, because now you can use APIs that can really help you abstract from the complexity, the mathematics that is inside, and just use it as a service. So what's the kind of app, uh, if we're talking about integrating with mobiles, what's the kind of app that, that you think would... would get a lot of use out of this. So I'm not explaining it very well. Imagining I'm a retailer, for example, okay. and I have a retailing app. What would you suggest that you start using? You, you mean machine learning in general? Uh, well, of course, uh, one basic usage is for retail is recommendation. We use it a lot in Amazon. So understanding the taste of your customers so that you can help them find what they need uh, in a quicker way. Uh, but you can also change the user interface or maybe if someone is looking for something very specific in instead of browsing or searching a catalog you can create a chatbot where you can interact and say hey i need to solve this i need something that is maybe white because i want to have the same color of the <laughs> of the other something else that i already have a home and the chatbot in an interactive way can guide you to find the right items that you want to buy and is that easy to configure? Is, it, is most of it configuration or is it maybe looking at the data first and then... So these high-level services are, are really designed to be used with some simple configurations. Uh, if you move into uh, having your own data to be analyzed and train a model, then you need to understand your data and visualize your data before. That's why we usually have this three-tier approach. So the top tier are uh, services that you can use as an API, so image recognition, text-to-speech, or the chatbot. Then you have platforms and engines that you can use where you need to understand a little bit more of machine learning and how your data is, is built.